I'm Larry Dapsis. I'm the entomologist with Cape Cod Cooperative Extension. And in this segment, we're going to talk about the use of permethrin-treated clothing and footwear as one of the most highly effective tactics that you can do to protect yourself from tick bites and prevent tick-borne illnesses. Um, there's some confusion about permethrin. Uh, to some people that I talk with, uh, they're under the impression, you know, Larry, this is a really dangerous uh, insecticide. And for other people, Larry, isn't this the stuff that's uh, a kind of a natural product? Uh, so let's start out with what is this ingredient we call permethrin. Well, let's start out with um, natural pyrethrum, okay? Uh, this is the extract of a type of chrysanthemum uh, grown in Africa, but today mostly grown in Tasmania, down under in Australia. And the insecticidal properties of natural pyrethrum has been known about since 1000 BC uh, in China, Old World Persia, present day Iran. And it has a couple interesting attributes. Um, one is it has extremely quick knockdown against insects. Okay, and this is what made it ideal for things like fly control. You can basically knock those things out of the air. However, what we do know is that there's no residual control. Um, natural pyrethrum breaks down in a matter of hours upon exposure to sunlight. So chemists took a look at the chemical architecture of natural pyrethrum. And they tried to figure out, and eventually did figure out, all right, where is sunlight breaking this thing down? And what can we do to stabilize this molecule and get a little bit more residual control out of it? And what they did was they, uh, added a couple chlorine atoms to one end and they added this structure of benzene ring to the other and this gave us now a product that has about four weeks of residual control and thus we get permethrin, okay? Um, this is a repellent that you use to treat clothing, okay? It's not for uh, exposed skin. You would use other products like DEED or Picaridin for that application. But you treat pants, your socks, uh, treat footwear. And treating footwear, I consider to be mission critical because during the summer months, uh, deer ticks, the stages out there are the nymph stage ticks. And that stage is responsible for 85% of all tick-borne diseases. So we have to be vigilant year round, but particularly on our game during the summer months. And those nymph stage ticks are down in the leaf litter. So the first place they attach to are your shoes. And what I found in my initial research on this product seven years ago is if a tick is on an ex treated surface for 60 seconds, uh, it is guaranteed to die. It might take five minutes, it might take 10 minutes, a little bit longer, but the outcome is certain. Um, this is the most effective tool in the box to prevent tick bites, hands down. You do this, you're reducing your risk exposure of tick bites by upwards of 90 percent. All right. It keeps its activity through six washings or 45 days, whatever comes first, because eventually sunlight will break down this product. Um, there's a number of different formulations out there on the market, different brands. So you have uh, Sawyer here, uh, a water-based pump spray, and you have these aerosol products. But they're, pretty, they're basically all the same. They're all one half of 1% permethrin. And I tell people, treat your footwear about every four weeks. All right, you can also buy pre-treated clothing from a company called Insect Shield, and they've been around for a number of years. They invented this technology. And you can buy insect repellent clothing under different brands like Orvis or Bean, but Insect Shield, they're in the private label business. So if you bought it from Ex Officio, it came from Insect Shield. There's a fairly recent player that's shown up in the market, uh, No Fly Zone. Very similar technology. Um, both of these products, EPA registered, have activity through 70 washings, basically the life of the garment. Uh, the third way you can skin this cat, you can send your clothing to Insect Shield, they will treat it and send it back to you with the 70 washings claim. And it's a nominal fee, it's about $10 a garment. All right, the elephant in the room. Uh, I get questions from people and pushback directly, um, particularly parents, that Larry, you're telling me to put my kids in clothing treated with a synthetic chemical pesticide, and I nod my head. And I, and I tell people that, you know, kids 
under age 10 have the highest incidence rate of Lyme disease in Massachusetts. So whatever we've been doing up to this point in time clearly is not working. We gotta rethink the game plan, okay? So what I do is I spend as much time as necessary to walk people through this psychological barrier about permethrin toxicity. So let's do that here. Um, for starters, a basic tenet of modern toxicology, it's not the molecule that makes the poison, it's the dose that makes the poison. How much you're exposed to and what was the route of exposure? Was it oral, was it dermal, was it inhalation? Those all make a uh, difference. Um, as far as permethrin goes, uh, extremely low mammalian toxicity with the exception of kitty cats. For some reason they can't metabolize this, but for mammals in general, very, very safe. Um, to the point where it's over 2,000 times more toxic to a tick than a person. People are big, ticks are little, doesn't take a whole lot to knock them off. EPA's position is that permethrin-treated clothing poses no harm to infants, children, pregnant women, and then they extended that to nursing mothers, and their criteria certainly would be conservative. Um, and the reason for this is very interesting, and, and people should understand this, it's because Permethrin has very low dermal absorption, and whatever small amounts absorbed is metabolized in a couple hours. In comparison to other classes of insecticides, say like the phosphates, a product like malathion, that touches your skin, it's pretty much instantly in your bloodstream and it's on its way to your nervous system, but not so with the pyrethroids uh, like permethrin. Uh, National Research Council, this is a heavyweight group, and they posed the question, what about long-term exposure? Because permethrin-treated clothing was originally developed for the military, so they were wondering about, okay, we're gonna have people exposed to this for very long periods of time. So in their assessment study, they assumed that people wearing permethrin treated everything head to toe, and they were wearing these clothes 18 hours a day, every single day for 10 years, and when they rolled up the aggregate exposure, they saw no reason for an adverse effect. And the last thing I point out to people is that this is the active ingredient that you would slather on an infant for scabies mite in a much higher concentration, and it's the active ingredient that's used to treat head lice. So when I look at what I think is very low risk cup exposure, and I weigh that against the consequences of one of these tick-borne illnesses, um, for me, that's pretty easy math. So let's go outside and see how easy it is to apply this product. I'm here with Sarah Colvin, Cape Cod Community Media Center. And Sarah, we have talked for a number of years about ticks and the importance of permethrin-treated clothing and footwear. And I know you understand how effective this is, but you're not a member of the franchise yet. I'm not, and we have done multiple interviews, television, radio, talking about this uh, permethrin, but I've never applied it, and I've actually been a little scared to do so. Sure, I mean, you're like a number of other people, is that there must be some mystery to how you properly apply this sure. to your clothing because you're handling a, a chemical insecticide. Exactly, I don't and, want to put and that on so my clothes. what we're doing is handling a chemical insecticide that actually has very low mammalian toxicity. So you notice that we're not using rubber gloves or, or masks because our exposure risk is quite low. When he says mammalian toxicity, by the way, it means it's not harmful to people. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> So what we're going to do is demonstrate an application of permethrin to these pants, these socks, and these boots. And you're the person who's actually going to do the application, Ooh. and I'm going to coach you along the way. Excellent. So these are the clothes that one would wear outside, so I'm not going to put it on my news uniform unless I'm going to go out and talk ticks with you in the Correct. woods. Um, but, you know, typically the clothes you would wear outside. And from what I understand, um, this lasts uh, quite a long time. So how long um, between applications do I need to go? Sure. Uh, this will keep its activity against ticks for through six washings or 45 days, whatever comes first, because eventually sunlight will break this down. Um, and it's recommended you wash these clothes separately um, from your other clothing. Great. So, so it's a matter of just um, popping the lid, up. shaking it a little bit, kind of get everything mixed together. And you're just going to want to get back about this far and spray these till they're visibly damp. Okay. And so what does this do? What, tell me a little bit about what the permethrin does uh, for me. Permethrin is uh, a neurotoxin against um, ticks. 
And it's very effective. What I found in my research is that if a tick gets 60 seconds of exposure, it's guaranteed to die. You do this alone, you've reduced your chances of getting a tick bite by 90%. Great. So I've sprayed it until it's visibly damp. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the other leg. Yep. And then how long, Larry, do I have to wait before I can put these pants on? Can I wear them right away? You want to spray up to about the mid-thigh, okay? okay? And these will probably be dry in about an hour or so. Okay. And then you can just put them on, and you are good to go out into your favorite outdoor places. Um, I mean, you don't have to go to the woods in a state park to get a tick bite. Two-thirds of the people that submitted ticks for identification and testing got them from activities in their own backyard. So right. ticks and gardening go hand in hand. So uh, this is the aerosol spray. Let me try this uh, water-based spray on the socks. So you want to treat your pants, your socks, and your shoes, correct? Because exactly. the ticks live down there on the ground? Yeah, the nymph stage ticks that are out there right now they're the size of a poppy seed, and they cause 85% of all tick-borne diseases. My goodness, so the little tiny thing you can barely see could completely derail your life. It could, one bite can change your life. That's what they say. So I'm gonna spray these on my socks, and again, wait about an hour before I put yep. the socks on. Now I don't it, have to spray the bottoms you, of my feet? No, you don't have to spray it for the part of the sock that's inside your shoe, but certainly anything above um, that's visible. And, and I actually turn my pants inside out and treat from about here down in case ticks come in from underneath. Great. So you, in my business, you gotta think like a tick. And so you're probably gonna wanna buy some of that product on your way home today, right? I am, so where can I get the Prometheus? from Sure, I mean, seven years ago, you could hardly find it. Nobody mm. was selling it. So I convinced all the major garden centers on the Cape to carry this product. So they, they have product in stock and, and they're selling a lot of it. The word is getting out about how effective this is. And overall, it's providing a great benefit to our community because we're in a ground zero area for things like Lyme disease. But these, these tear ticks now are packing five different pathogens. Oh dear. And we see a certain number of ticks are co-infected, meaning they're carrying two pathogens, three, sometimes four. Um, so we have gotta be serious about this year round. Certainly, and so uh, I feel a little bit safer now. I'm gonna grab some permethrin on my way home uh, so I can go for walks in the woods. Thank Great, you, so you can go enjoy. So this is my contact information. I always look forward to speaking with you or addressing your emails. And we'd certainly like to thank Cape Cod Healthcare for their financial support for this project.